So we're asked to graph h of x is equal to e to the minus x in the domain between 0 and 1. Now making sure to include 0 and including 1. Okay, so if we had 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and we're including 1, we know our x, and we want to find out, I'm sorry, that is our x values, and we want to find out our y value of the function e to the minus x. Simply a matter of putting that into your calculator. So put each of them into your calculator. 0 0.82 comes up, 0 0.67, 0 0.55, 0 0.45, 0 0.37. And you then just have to graph each of those couples. Really nice, simple question. Really, really accessible. So let's go in purple. 0, 2 goes 0 0.82, 8 here, here, 0 0.4 goes 0 0.67, so 0 0.5, 0 0.67, just under 0 0.7, 0 0.55, it's just 2, 4, 5, there we go, and 0 0.8 goes to 0 0.45, there and 0 0.37 0 0.37 here okay we're not drawing it in a straight line nice little curve oh and the pen's going all over the place let's try that again much better hey okay, and that's the question done really really easy okay so when you see the marks for it, you might be a little blown away that it was 0, 5, 10, 15 marks going for it. So make sure to try every single question because you'll find that certainly a nice and easy question. So for the rest of the question then, it asks us to find the area enclosed by g of x and h of x and the line x is equal to 0 0.75. So is this a vertical or a horizontal line? Well, I'll remind you. Imagine this is 0 0.75 on the x-axis. Those four points that I've just put on this vertical line, what are the x-coordinates of every single one of them? 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. I don't know their y-coordinates, but I know the defining characteristic of this line is that the x-coordinates on that line is 0 0.75. So x is equal to 0 0.75 is a vertical line. Where is 0 0.75? So I can draw it in just to help us out a little bit. Okay, so it's something like that. And I want that area there. So the easiest thing to do is well area under a curve we're going to find the area under g of x and then we're going to subtract the area under h of x between 0 and 0 0.75 so the area under g of x and then we're going to subtract the area under h of x so how do you get the area under a curve well, you find the integral of it between the limits. So the integral between 0 and 0 0.75 of e to the x, because that's what, what g of x is, and we're going to subtract the integral between 0 0.75 and 0 of e to the minus x, dx and dx. Now, they're definite integrals, so we don't need to worry about our plus c. So how do you integrate e to the x? Okay. Well, if you look in your log tables, it'll tell you that the integral of e to the x is just e to the x. Okay. Kind of, we're going to come along to a little variation of it when we talk about over here. So integral of e to the x is just e to the x. I'm going to do that between 0 0.75 and 0. We've got our minus from here. And now, the integral of e to the 1 over x. Your log tables says to integrate it 
if it was e to the x, that the integral of that is 1 over a e to the ax. So what will happen an awful lot is a lot of people will just take down the minus or whatever coefficients there and not understand why. But what this is actually is it's 1 over derivative of the power. Which doesn't really matter when it, if it was like e to the 4x, the integral of that would be 1 over 4 e to the 4x. But when it does matter is if it was e to the 4x squared, because the integral of it would be 1 over 8 e to the 4x squared, 8x even. And so it really does matter in that case. Now, again, it doesn't really matter here, but just to know that that's, the rule is 1 over the derivative of the power, not just bringing down the coefficient of the power. So it's 1 over minus 1, e to the minus x between 0 0.75 and 0 now this is just a minus here so minus by minus e to the x well let's go and evaluate this e to the 0 0.75 minus e to the 0 minus minus e to the minus 0 0.75 minus minus e to the 0 okay this, um, this minus again coming because that is just a minus there so that's why there's a minus there and a minus there and then we're subtracting when we have subbed in the lower limit okay, so I'm just going to remove them oh. e to the 0 0.75 minus 1 because anything to the power of 0 is 1, plus e to the minus 0 0.75, because I've multiplied in by this minus, and then this is going to be minus by minus by minus, which is minus, minus 1, and I can get rid of those brackets as well. So I have e to the 0 0.75, plus e to the minus 0 0.75, minus 2, and if I sub that into the calculator, um, or type it into the calculator, I get 0 0.5894. And that's the question done. I think actually an okay question, maybe a little bit trickiness along here, um, but not, not bad at all. Again, 0, 5, 8, 10. Okay, so quite an accessible question.